One, two. T O M. Teaches in my eye. Who am I today? Describe been forever, but the name changes with the times. I come from a place where space is home. I go into realms where your face is gone. A change gon' come. As a teen, hypnotized deep in a sleep, party and slumber. Eleven life path number, a life of death that's rebirth. Recall realities to reemerge. So purge. I'll lend you frequency like long words. Before I teach, I spit a poem first. Step on stage, set the stage, Kyle walking. Set ablaze, divine fire. The body is divine attire, song from words. Sound frequency, awakening dreams. Don't pinch me every day I wake up, it's a home birth. Start from zero to become the heroes. Cycles of time causes expansion of mind. Potential is exponential. Gain XP what your power made of. I've had to face self, face to fate, a double fate. What will I make of the present? I'm just trying to pet heaven. Twice great, two arms up, it's none to wave. It's nothing to wave. God separate the waters from the waters Genesis 1 and 6 See that source is thousands of years prior to a Bible even existing It's called the pet word for heaven Watchers of noon, primordial, pre-ordered Bringing order in, in order It's law the scales will represent A double gift, re-present, Ray is present Ra, amen to the God inside The crown will glow as consciousness grows So what assignment are you on? I do my best to do my best Lead with the left heart out my chest Buy a step out of the flesh Oh my crown is done that mess Corona shining I do my best to do my best Lead with the left heart out my chest Buy a step out of the flesh Oh my crown is done that mess Corona shining Serpent mind winding in alignment Straight from Orion The origins Digging to the root, Kim original, the oracle speaking, your aura is gleaming, the sons of God, Amen, Ra, who can't afford a reason, to fall below your own means, meaning, reaching beyond the firmament, ceiling, I see Lin, twistics tricking us deep into sleeping, the way we live inception, I must be dreaming, doubles, double L, square root, mirrors, reverse the image, my grip is slipping, almost forgot the point of the mission, statements, Point out all the contradictions, blatant truth lives where my eye is foundation. Yeah, co-founded a nation, dictionary, study, spells can be scary. Etymology, this here is completion. Cycle circles, dualism wisdom. I pedal flowers. Two eyes are watching to see through the double realm I'm healing. Never out of what's within him. Infinite reasons, just like my brother Arcad, always remain calm against demons. Death culture, to be alive here, it's a lie here They crossed us into thinking that death isn't living The lies are falling through my palms, arm wide holes in my hand The Pope's in command, I demand the throne back Ancient teachings, I'm a throwback Picture that, see this moment here is cold that So, so black, I see through lies Why they hold that, ocean motions I'm flowing through noon in the boats of consciousness My tongue is rowing Rolling, planting seeds, sowing, knee of speaking, untangled quantum DNA, spitting frequencies. I hear Christians scream, hallelujah, and this ain't that the name of God is God. I must bring the order back, the scales are dipping. In the court of our law, moon shines, hooty is y'all. This here is Patah, bulldozing, the one chosen. Focus, when the light hits you, just open like lotus. Melt your mind, when in mind, time is frozen. Blow minds, my mind is golden. Coat me in gold, I've got a gold coat round me like I'm cut on Thalman. Like his when you spell my name, put three lines in. Scribe, presenting the law's findings. Who's he? I need an echo of Tahuti. Yes, I do my best to do my best. Mm. Lead with the left heart out my chest. Buy, step out of the flesh. Oh, my crown is done that mess. Corona shining. We do our best to do our best.
this is the whole um, purpose of actually doing the Meneta class on the Purim Haru was to get everybody in the mind state of, of Hika because the Purim Haru is a book of Hika. It's a book of magic. It's a book of immortality, out of body experiences. It's a book of several, several spells. Um, it is all about the other realm and its connection to this realm and how you can merge the two. Um, so I just, I just never allowed the questions of actual ritual or magical practice other than the one-on-one. -on -one. You'll see it looks, it looks like a sieve. Everybody know what a sieve is? No. A sieve is, a, is like a strainer. Um, you 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 can pour rice on it, and only the water will go through. Or you, you separate. It's like a it's like a screen. You pour something on it, and it separates things. Thinner thinner aspects can go through the. Today's equivalent is a K or a Q. So we have Kes, which is bone, body, skeleton. The inner part of you that actually produces the blood within the bone marrow. So it's flesh and blood, which is a bone, which is the Kes. So here, Kes ties in again to is homage. Kes, whether it's felt like that, or spelled like any of the other um, 20 ways that <laughs> the, the real thing with a man. This came from, and how Venus associates with an actual shining planet, and how that became the uh, the Lucifer of Christianity, which is the Lewick cipher, the, uh, the, the, the encircled light which at sometimes can be venus and sometimes can be the kenti was the royal area of the beginnings that's where the that's where the modern day greek historians say that men came that when they went and talked to the so-called ethiopians they said that um that kemet was a uh, kemet was an area re-established There is no spoon. Evaluation, literally, the love is real, yet they be hating. 
salutations. I wait to masturbation. Acting like a daisy on your backs. I'm back by conscious beams. I am free king like the wings in. The diction is firm. Call me men. A man, three in one. Erection, protection, firm. Spitting life into who I speak to like sperm. Creation is a who I earn. The right to fully see it through. The heart as I rise through. My new I cooped. Lost it when I had to find you. I'm through. Times two. Dualism. We will align soon. As I meditate in my room, it becomes a space of pure truth aligned with my eyes. Burby is just sound for more than the two eyes. I can see the veil underneath that other veil. Focus when I am locked in. Mm, I don't need a cell. Tell me you don't see the trap. Tower power over enemies. Frozen over hell. Reversing spells. Fell from the sky. The body is disguised. If you need it, a sign. Well, this is it. I hope you read between the lines. Left, right. After the first step, I write what's left in me. This is destiny. Keep on moving, especially if you find blockage. No amount of pushback will stop this. This will get capped in stone. They cannot top this. Pyro, fire. Bob is my attire. Inspire the ones chosen, the ones open, the ones spoken. From times when life was once spoken. Enchantment, nestle, double tongue in motion. Give, receive. Keep moving and move for keep. Keep it real. Keep the master key. I had to master me. Mirror glass shattered in my dreams. I didn't like the image. Till I realized I am the image of the image. I'm here for keep. Keep your distance. Social gimmicks. Our stories told within the hieroglyphics. Mystics, just keep on living. We're gifted. Our stories told within the hieroglyphics. A language living. Just keep on living. Keep, keep on moving. Keep, keep on moving. Keep on moving, keep, keep on moving, keep, keep. I had to relearn what a brother is. I had to relearn what a sister is. I had to relearn what a mother is. There is no other him. Watch your mouth, fix your lips. Yep, motivate a nation. Stepping out the spaceship, causing a spaceship faced with revealing the spells within this matrix from the masons. But I'm the architect, best respect, I can architect Rule your rulership, I hold the heck Control my thoughts, still move when the game is paused We speak heck up, this is the best of Medunetra, bars like Wi-Fi, we're connected Always on time, frequency and flow Flow through frequency, I know the power I hold in my throat Creation, destruction, with every single thing I've spoke Enter, netter, Kurt, show your worth Kill from all the hurt, not a finger, best believe I hold a note Read between the lines, you're not really lost in that I hope You find exactly what you are looking for, this is more than words Taught myself to heal myself, I come from the dirt No time for slacking or bad habits, sad tactics Of bringing mad tragic mental processes that lack passion Spit fire, black dragon, school of hard knocks, send you backpacking My eyes, when this appears, it's like magic the fact is, when it's wartime, we go savage. Shield of armor 720, prevent backstabbing. Backstabbing all the fiends of good hearted beings. They don't suit the role, they lack the fashion. So just keep, keep on moving. Keep, keep, keep on moving. Keep, keep on moving. Keep, keep. Oh, tap, oh, tap, peace and love. Can y'all hear me? How's my sound? Hotel. 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 Welcome, great brother. Oh, nice. I see you, brother. Peace and love, everybody. Welcome to Teachers of My Eyes Study God Sunday. Today's topic is the Pyramid Text, the oldest spiritual writings on the planet by Taf Rem Kemaat, Teachers of My Eyes. Before we begin the reading, we will begin as we do every week with our beautiful affirmation. On the count of three, one, two, three. Unki and my aunt, un and s, nintat or set and my aunt, men have a pet and my aunt, her in Hugh Kiwi, per Iku. I live for my aunt, I exist within her, I do not speak in the place of my aunt. Every day I advance towards my aunt. My being is surrounded in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. Peace and love, everybody. Welcome to a beautiful, beautiful class tonight. I'm excited about this one. 
I am the great Ataf Rem Kim Mahat. I'm the chairman of the organization, Teaching Zamaat, the Tichetu. I am a student of the master teacher, the great Tahuti Amin Hotep Ra, the host of this weekly study guide, Teaching Zamaat, a true hearted follower based on truth and ancestral artifacts over religious opinion. I'm dedicated to learning the metal netta and loyal to defender of Ma'at. Next, we had a general, the great Ahati Ma'at. Ahati Ma'at was taught under the great Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. He has been a serious student and teacher of comedic culture and history for several years. He has written multiple books, including the textbook called Journey of Your Soul series, essays and articles. Furthermore, he hosts in-person and online classes, weekly podcasts, and periodically creates documentaries. He also has experience in public speaking and academic debating, and he is responsible for the creation of this weekly study guide. Next, we have the scribe, Ani Pata Aten Tahuti, is a writer, poet, spoken word artist, audio producer, engineer, healer, spiritual advisor, consultant, and business creator. He is a master student of the Natiru, a true follower and protector of Ma'at, a scribe of Tahuti and Ma'at. He studies under the master teacher, Saba Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. For the scribe, quality always outweighs quantity. He enjoys observing reality and incorporating these observations into his writings and creations to assist in awakening a dormant DNA and reversing negative hypnosis. Next, we have the mighty Minku Ara Mary Ma'at. Minku specializes in training and educating youth workers, counselors, and educators about arts, culture, and history. He travels the world to experience how people live, and he shares it with everyone who is interested in learning from the research he has witnessed. Minku has a master's degree in entertainment and media business and has been working in the music industry and with nonprofit agencies providing program planning and promoting concerts and community events in the Madison area for over 30 years. During that time, he has facilitated the following innovative after school programs for Madison School Community Recreation, including Hip Hop 101, Music Production 101, and MP4 Music Programs for Youth. Welcome, everybody, to a beautiful Teachers of My Eyes Study Guide Sunday. Hotep. Hotep. <clears throat> Great brother Atef. Uh, there's a slight echo. I can hear the uh, music echoing okay. uh, on your end. Let me uh, check it out. Give me one second. All right. Hotep, everyone. Peace and love uh, to everyone here. Uh, let's, let's see. Squano trending. First one in the chat. Peace and love to you. Uh, the most consistent supporter on YouTube. Two out to you, good brother. Hotep Ma'at, Shannon Southern is in the building. Hotep to you. Uh, sending love to everyone. Jason Kirkland, uh, giving his adoration to the team and uh, to everyone in the chat. Hotep and Henu to you. Uh, Jay Kirkland. We have Primordial Thought 9 uh, in the building. Hotep to the great Ma'aderator of the teachings of Ma'at. Primordial Thought 9. Uh, with the links there. So for everyone, um, be sure to send in your support uh, and your Tua Ishin for this class uh, using these links here that the great moderator has placed up there for you all. Uh, and it's also in the description box. So peace and love to you, Primordial Thought 9. Uh, Stephen E, my Hotep family, peace and love. Peace and love to you. Um, a wonderful member of the teachings of Ma'at uh, who leads by example, uh, who is also a YouTube uh, supporter as well uh, through the membership that YouTube uh, offers. So if you all want to um, support us uh, in that way as well, you can also join uh, the YouTube membership uh, and that will also assist us in um, in our mission that we that we have here. So peace and love to you, Stephen E, uh, for leading by example in that. Uh, Nicholas Noetic, peace and love, Hotep everyone. Peace and love to you, Hotep, good brother. All right, so... Uh, before we get started, um, uh, great brother Minku, I Rob Mary Ma'at, would you like to um, uh, go over the Pathways to Awakening? Most definitely. Uh, Hotel, peace to the brothers on the panel. Good to see you all. Uh, peace and love to the chat. Um, looking forward to, we have an event coming up October 28th, 2023, Los Angeles, California. Uh, we will put the information in the chat. Uh, every day we get uh, new and exciting news about the event. Uh, our great, powerful, 
masterful uh, master teacher Saba Tahuti uh, will be joining us. This Naturts will be there. It'll be a very special event. Uh, he will have snakes for sale. So I'm excited. Um, it's going to be a powerful event. Uh, we are having a talent show. Uh, more people are signing up for the talent show. Uh, some of our leaders will be speaking. Uh, we will be breaking bread and having good food together. Uh, it's just going to be a powerful celebration for all of us that uh, have been in Saba Tahuti's energy, learning from him, uh, holding him up, and uh, doing all that we can to create a new Kemet and being followers of Ma'at as we step out of the matrix and step into Ma'at. And so, um, I don't know what else to say. Um, you know, you snooze, you lose. So uh, I'm excited to see my brothers. I'm excited to uh, lift my master teacher, Saba Tahuti, up high and celebrate and uh, live my life on my own terms uh, as I journey to be as free and happy, as joyful and as abundant as I can. So just doing the best that I could do to walk in my position and the organization. Um, looking forward to LA. I love LA. So peace and love to everybody. Hope you can join us. Uh, if you want more information, you can uh, check us out on the website. The link is in the chat. Um, and I don't, I don't like to talk. So uh, for all the people who like to take action like me, um, Here's your opportunity to take the action. There's the chat. Peace. I'm done. All right, Tua, great brother. Uh, absolutely. It's coming down to the uh, last two weeks. Uh, so you all have two weeks to um, purchase your tickets and uh, come out and uh, see and meet the great Saba Tahuti and all the festivities that that's comes along with um, a celebration event uh, such as this one. So to our great brother men cool for that all right so yes uh i'll have the banner uh down here on the bottom uh with our support cash app and paypal teachings of my art uh so everyone can support uh this class and this reading that we're going to uh get into all right let me go through a couple things here uh rumble of course uh hotep and Hinu to uh everyone who's watching out on our rumble uh, who who um, um, takes in our content over there on that platform? It's a it's a great platform that uh, is far less restrictive uh, than YouTube. Uh, so a lot of times YouTube will uh, take videos off or um, take away sounds of certain uh, videos, and uh, so Rumble allows us to uh, make sure that we have a backup of everything if YouTube ever decides to snatch a a class off of um off of youtube we have uh the backups here on on rumble uh, and you can also support us on rumble uh with a rant so just like how youtube here you can super chat and join membership uh on rumble is called a rant and you can support that way so whole tip to everyone uh, watching us live on rumble and those who are uh watching the playback so whole tip to you all our discord uh be sure that you all are joined in on that um that link is also in the uh, description box where you can just click the link and you'll be added to our rumble uh we'll have a, a community meeting um the thursday uh before we um before the event so the 26th uh we'll we'll have a we'll we'll have a meeting a community meeting where we all can um uh, give our everything finalized uh, for the event um, and any questions that people may have. Uh, so we'll be doing that on the 26th of this month. Uh, so be look on the lookout for that in the Rumble and in your um, newsletters. All right. And I also want to uh, bring this up for anyone who uh, has any type of skill set or talent that you want to bring forth. Um, we're looking for some great digital artists, uh, artists who paint, draw, 
uh, we want the we want the creatives to uh, come out and um, allow us to give you a platform to show forth and um, uh, showcase what you can do creatively. Uh, it doesn't matter what you what you do. If you create, then uh, you are what we want to be able to show uh, the people. So um, email me uh, leadership at teachings of my or message me on uh, teachings of my and um, we should be having uh, a good brother by the name of BJ and Farrell next week to uh, come to the stage and showcase some of his artwork. So we're looking forward to that. Um, good brother BJ and Farrell looking forward to that. Uh, and for anyone who has a business and you want to support your business or promote your business, uh, so we can uh, have the the people support you. Reach out to us, and uh, and we can definitely give you a commercial slot um, during our show, uh, so you can uh, promote uh, what you have going on. All right, everyone, make sure to get your merchandise. Teachingsofmyeye.org backslash shop. Uh, get your merchandise. Uh, there will be some merch at the Pathways to Awakening event uh, for you all to purchase if you like. Uh, so take advantage of this and um, and you can get it customized on the back as well. So you can get anything you want on the back uh, within a certain amount of letters, of course. But uh, teachings of my eye.org backslash shop. All right. Meta Netter Mondays, mystical television at gmail.com. Our the greatest Meta Netter class on the planet. It's a life class. It's more than just learning the Meta Netter. The Meta Netter is... Um, is living and it's within everything so um this right here um opens up your perception and saba tahuti goes in uh, and teaches us uh how to think the way that the ancient ones did and it's beautiful so everyone make sure that you uh, are supporting the meta netter class supporting saba tahuti and purchasing the recordings with um it's a free will donation of at least twenty dollars for each recording uh, which is absolutely amazing. So everyone should be taking advantage of that and uh, being in the live class if um, if you can. There are certain parts, <clears throat> excuse me, there are certain parts that don't make it to the recording, uh, such as the, the parts where Saba Tahuti isn't teaching and the class is just building and communicating. Those parts are cut out of the recording. So um when you're there live, you definitely is a is an energy. So be there live if you can, and support the recordings if you cannot be there. Be there live. All right. So, Hotep and Mur, everyone uh, from the beautiful Neferkeperet, Hotep and Marie to you. Um, yes, absolutely. Everyone, hit that like button if you haven't done that yet. Hit the like button. Hit the share. Hit the subscribe. Uh, push this out there. We want this to um, reach as many people as possible because uh, we know that we need this information. All right. And um, so before we get started, um, I have um, I have something I want to show. Uh, but prior to that, I want to show the support that came in uh, over the week, uh, which I'm I was happy to see because last week was was not very well as far as support so i was happy to see that um that you all still support it throughout the week uh to to make up for last class and um i expect us to uh do better this week as well so hotep and hindu to all the great supporters and uh let me show let me show the screen all right for our first one we have the beautiful angela gates with ten dollars support Tep and Hinu, uh, good sister. Tua for your consistent support. You're, you're consistent every week. Um, so Tua for, for that and um, leading by example. So Hotep to you. I don't I don't know if you're in the uh, in the chat room or not, but peace to you. All right, next. Let's show the uh, great active member of the teachings of my eye, Stephen E. 
who since 2072 for the class on October 8th and the class on October 15th, which is today, support Tua Nefer Sinu. To our good brother Stephen E. Excellent supporter. Um, Hotep and Henu to you. Uh, you are wonderful. Uh, looking forward to um, meeting you, great brother, and um, and uh, having some conversations to our good brother. Appreciate you and um, keep keep doing what you're doing. You are doing excellent. All right, next we have the good brother who's squano trending in the tr uh, in the chat the first one to uh send a message on the live Nito campbell squano trending he sends in two support uh one of these was for last week on the 8th and uh, so that was this one's for today the 15th and then we have this one here uh which is for 10 8 2023 so tua good brother for your tua issue Next, we have the good brother uh, who is Nicholas Noetic in the chat room. Uh, there was um, there was a little bit of uh, confusion uh, where through our PayPal, where uh, he has sent some support in, but he has sent it to uh, a wrong PayPal. So we got everything fixed and switched. Uh, so we will show this now for this good brother here who says for support and appreciation of the Sunday study classes, two out to all, sent by Nicholas Savinsden, $10. So he has sent that on the, on the 12th. And uh, as we were uh, working with the PayPal link, for him, he also sent this as well, uh, $5 for support um, and for the Sunday class for today. So, um, two out to you. Yes, and this, um, this great brother um, also uh, became a member today. So, um, Let's give that brother some Hindu. Uh, let's give him some some hand claps, some bombs for becoming an active member. Gotta get that brother to co-patch to that brother all the way over there in, uh, in uh, Norway. <laughs> yeah. Give him the co-patch. Absolutely. So to our great brother um, for um, taking advantage of the opportunities and uh, leading by example. Uh, so Hotep and Hindu to you. Uh, so, yes, absolutely. Peace and love, everyone, to our for the support that we received in prior uh, to this class. So as we get going in this class, uh, here is our support uh, for everyone to um, utilize. So our cash app and our PayPal is teachings of my art. So if you appreciate anything in this, uh, in this lesson today, in this reading today, uh, please make sure you send in your support. All right. So let's get started. Good brothers and sisters. All right. Let's see here. Let me double check something. Okay, so first I want to um, first I want to show um, a, a nice video um, of uh, the inside of the pyramid of Teti, 
and Unas. Uh, because we will be reading today uh, the pyramid text, uh, readings from the pyramid text in the book of um, ancient Egyptian literature. So, yes, we will be getting into the pyramid text, uh, the oldest spiritual writings on the planet. Um, and in that section of the book, uh, we're, we're going to be focusing on three um, what's called pyramids. Uh, which the metaneta word for pyramid is myrrh. There's many words, but the, the main one is myrrh. Um, that there's three main ones that we'll be looking at uh, in this reading, uh, which is the pyramid of Unas, the pyramid of Teti, and the pyramid of Pepi, the first. So I want to show um, a nice, uh, cool, interactive video of uh, walking into the Pyramid of Teddy so we can um, get the experience of um, what it may be like walking inside of the myrrh. So let's um, let's show that there won't be no noise for the video. So I'll just have the uh, music playing. All right, so let me, um, if you all are ready to uh, get started with, um, with this class and with the, um, with the reading, uh, put me, uh, let's, let's put seven twos in the chat, put a 72 in the chat. If you're ready to get started, uh, go into these, um, these very powerful writings, uh, which gave birth to, uh, spirituality here on this planet. Uh, very powerful. Uh, put 72s in the chat. If you're ready to get going, uh, as I prepare, uh, as I get this ready for us all. I need, I love that shirt, brother. Is that a, uh, that a, that a teacher seminar creation or you picked that up somewhere? <laughs> to our good brother. No, I picked this up. Um, I picked this up somewhere. Uh, so yeah, to our. That's absolutely fire, brother. I love it. Appreciate it. All right, there we go. We got the 72s in the chat. Nefer Keperet, Stephen E, Nicholas Noetic, Jay Kirkland. Maharu, peace to you, good brother. Maharu in the building. Eric G, peace to you. Shannon Southard, and um, I do want to highlight this. Um, she said, "I will have some my of a, I will have some of my original handmade creations and a complete merch booth. Pathways at the Pathways of Awakening. So, uh, for those of you who are coming out to the to the event, you'll be able to support our good sister here, Shannon, uh, who will." Um, will not be called that for too much longer, uh, but we'll be able to support her uh, and, and her creation. She's very creative. Uh, so to our uh, sister for, for being creative. All right. Squano Trin is in the, in the chat room. Boss Fee, peace and love to this good brother who's also an active member. Peace and love to you, uh, Boss Fee, uh, also known as Black Alucard. All right, let's, um, let's share the screen. and uh, walk inside of uh, Teti's Pyramid, Teti's Mer. So as you see, these are uh, 360 videos that are made for uh, VR headsets, uh, but you can also use them without it. Uh, so this is a video where you can, um, you know, have uh, 360 virtual access to inside of um, these wonderful structures. So this is a beautiful way to utilize the technology, right? We have, we have some wonderful technology and it's just like any other tool. It's on how you use it. So as we, um, as we're traveling down, right? Going underneath, uh, going through the tunnel here, inside the myrrh of Teti. And there are many, many um, um, structures, you know, with this, um, this available for you all. And I suggest everyone to take some time out to uh, go inside of our ancestors 
uh, buildings. So as you see some of the writing here on the uh, Pyramid of Teti here, which then led to the writings on the what's known as the coffin text and then um, is what then led to what we know as the Book of the Dead or the Purim Haru. So here we see the Dua, right? The, the stars on the on what's called the pet right here. So this is um, this is beautiful here with the writings all on the walls of the entrances and the exits. We see here beautifully illustrated. And as we see in the shin right there with the bread loaf, which is the tea, another bread loaf tea and the single reed leaf, teti. All right, so this is uh, teti here. And so now I'm gonna swing us over, over here to Unas. So now we are in the Mer or the Pyramid of Unas, where the oldest spiritual writings uh, exist. Which, as we see, the Dua on the on the uh, ceiling to represent the heavens, the Dua, the Duat, and Nut. As we see the writings here all, all across the wall. looking for his um his name I got it packed in here right here we go and there we go perfect and then here we see the rabbit which is oon with the water or the waves Un with the single reed leaf and the Seneb cloth. Uh, so it's Unas. Right here, Unas and the Shin. Right, so this right here, you're looking at the oldest attestation of any type of spiritual writings right here. And he's pointing out the Met, which is uh, actually speaking of the Ka right here because here's the ka and the phallus is also the same word that creates the ka which means bull so that's what he's pointing out right here showing unas who is known as the great bull even the kim the the black bull that's the word ka all right so i just want to give you guys um a quick look on on what's available uh, as far as technology wise and being able to uh, utilize what we have access to uh, to grow our knowledge base and to actually place ourselves uh, without having to physically travel there and, and go and look inside of uh, these these sacred places um, these temples and these mirrors uh, because we have it available right um, so you may not find every picture you may not find exactly what you're looking for, but when you go through these walkthroughs, you can definitely find what you're looking for. So 
let me stop sharing there and um, let's uh, let me pull this up it's a short presentation I have for us before we read into the pyramid text All right, so here we go. The last king of the fifth dynasty, Unas, built his pyramid complex close to the southwestern corner of the enclosure wall surrounding complex of Netjer Iket at Saqqara. This pyramid complex is thus located at the opposite corner of Netjer Iket's complex as the complex built by Usar Kaf the first king of the fifth dynasty and between the complexes of Djoser and Sakim Ket, both of the third dynasty as part of the diagonal between the pyramid of Sakim Ket in the southwest and the pyramid of Teti, which was to be built later in the northeast. So here is the, the uh, Mer or the pyramid of Unas uh, right here and here's the, uh, the funerary complex that you see right next to it. Uh, and as you see Unas's name right here in the shin. Right here, Unas uh, with the Nefer Os Mer. Uh, speaking of the uh, pyramid, it's the name of his, uh, his pyramid here. So here we have um, Unas Pyramid, the sarcophagus chamber, the western wall of the sarcophagus chamber. Note the pattern area on the three walls surrounding the uh, sarcophagus, as we've seen in the video, as we've seen in the walkthrough with the pattern, uh, which, uh, as you see on these walls here, um, a face falls on a face. A face has seen a face. The mottled knife, black and green, went forth against it. It has swallowed that which it tasted. Utterance 228. All right, and here's the antechamber west wall. Excitement in heaven. We see something new, says the gods of primeval times. O Ennead, or the Pesht, the Pa'ut, the original nine, Natiru. A new horse is in the sunlight. The lords of forms serve him. The two Enneads attend him as he sits on the seat of the Lord of all utterance 257 here in the pyramid of Unas. And here's the gable of the west wall of the antechamber. Unas appears as Nefertum, the lotus as the at the nose of Ray as he comes out of the horizon every day and at the sight of which the gods purify themselves. Uh, so this is talking about Unas appearing as Nefertim, uh, which here is the lotus. Uh, but um, as I taught in the flower of life, uh, class it's it's really the water lily uh, and it started getting called the lotus and was never corrected so it is the water lily um, that these writings are speaking about and as Nefertum um, at, at the nose of Ray um, and so you can go back to that class the flower of life to learn more about that and uh, here are some of Unas's names uh, so here is uh, he has five names uh, his Heru name which is also known as the Serek, the Nepti name, the Golden Falcon name, the his Nomen name, or the Sa-Ra, uh, Sa-Ra meaning son of Ra, or the uh, another Nomen name is also, uh, can be a name that you're born with, so your birth name. So his Heru name is her wad ta Heru, the two lands flourish. His Nepti name is waj em neb -tesh. The one who flourishes as the two ladies, the Nepti, golden falcon name, Waj Bak Nebu, the golden falcon flourishes. And of course, his nomen name, Sara Unas, uh, the son of Ray Unas and Unas here. All right. And then here is, here is a good diagram of, um, of the area mapped out in a bird's eye view and an aerial view. Uh, showing here, right here, the Pyramid of Unas, uh, the Step Pyramid of Djoser, and the Pyramid of Usarkaf and Teti. Uh, so we be, we'll be looking at Teti here, and Pyramid of Unas, and the Pyramid of Pepi, Pepi the First, right here. And then here is the plan of the royal tomb that's underneath 
the uh, Mer of Unaz. So as we've seen going through uh, Teti, uh, you're actually going underneath uh, the ground. So uh, the entrance, or right here where it says one, where it's one in pink, is the actual Mer. So here's the Mer sitting on top of that which is underneath, which is where the burial chamber, or what they call the sarcophagus is, uh, which is also known as the Karas. So here as you enter through the entrance here, you go down the descending tunnel to the vestibule, right? And then you have uh, different, uh, what's called port cullises, uh, a second tunnel, and then the antechamber, the tomb chapel down here, and the burial chamber here, and the sarcophagus with canopic space, which you see the caress um, sitting right here. So this is underneath, of course, the myrrh. And here's a great image, and here's the name of his um, his myrrh. Uh, so they call it the Pyramid of Unas, um, but his true name is Unas Nefer Asut. The name of the Pyramid of Unas, Unas Nefer Asut, as um, as I showed as I showed earlier. As you see, the Nefer, the Os, and the Myrrh Pyramid there, which is also right here right here so uh, that's the uh, pyramid of um, Unas uh, which is the first one we'll get to so this is the first layer uh, and the next one we'll get to is the pyramid text of Pepe uh, and this is Pepe the first uh, British Museum number uh, Ascension number 39.121 uh, circa 233 or 2338 to 2298 BCE. Uh, so here is the great brother here, Pepe. So the Pepe One Pyramid Complex was built by the first king of the sixth dynasty in the in South Saqqara. His two predecessors, Unas and Teti, chose the vicinity of the Step Pyramid Complex in Saqqara. So as it says right here, Unas and Teti chose the vicinity of the Step Pyramid Complex in Saqqara. Uh, which is right here. The step pyramid would be the step pyramid of Djoser, uh, where you see Unas and Teti. So, his two predecessors, Unas and Teti, chose the vicinity of the step pyramid complex in Saqqara as their final resting place. The name of the complex is Men Nefer, the beautiful monument, which would be the name of the city that resides in the east and would be known by the Greeks as Memphis. Pepe the first pyramid became highly famous for containing the pyramid text of the infamous Book of the Dead that acted as a manifesto containing a protection spell and a guiding system for the deceased through the underworld or the duat. The pyramid of Pepe comprises of 2,263 columns and text lines which showcase a great deal of information and details about the old kingdom. 2686 to 2181 BCE. Uh, so this is the part EE, -E, the Nesu BT Pepe the uh, first. So here we have uh, an image of him as well. Um, in the Osirian form as Asar with the heck and the Ku, the crook and the flail uh, with the X across his chest. Uh, right here, who is the uh, son of Teti, right? So you see father here is Teti, and you see his mother, he put the first and his wives and children. And uh, his one of his children uh, is Pepe the second, which uh, also we have pyramid text for uh, that we won't be reading in this one, but uh, Pepe the second also has his own uh, pyramid. All right, and here we have Min Nefer, the pyramid of King Pepe Meri Ra. Right here, so his, the pyramid of uh, Pepe is called Min Nefer. And then here's some of his beautiful text in here. And as you see in the Shin, right here, you see the P, the P and the double reed leaf. So Pepe. 
right here. And here's another uh, beautiful statue of him or Tut. And then here are some of his names, right? His Heru name, Horus, he who loves the two lands, the Hor, Meri, Tawi. Uh, his Nepti name is the two ladies beloved of incorporation, Nepti, Meri, Ket. His golden falcon name or his golden Heru name is Bak U Nebu, the golden falcons. His prenomen, uh, which is Nefer Sahor or Meri Ra, which is um, the throne name, the name that you receive uh, when uh, taking the throne. And his nomen name, his Sara name, Sara uh, Pepi. And then Sahut Hor Nebet Uint. Pepi, son of Het Heru, the mistress of Dendera Pepi. And then we have Sa Tem Neb, Iunu, Heut, Hor, Nebet, Iunit, Pepi, son of Atum, Lord of Heliopolis and of Het Heru, mistress of Dendera Pepi. So beautiful. So here is um, an image of his um, funerary complex right there next to his myrrh. And here is a, a Tekken, which is the Metaneta word for obelisk, uh, a small Tekken of his, uh, which you see, Nesu BT Pepi, Techeta Ankh, liveth forever. This Pepi is the star which gives light to the sky. So this is uh, it's a small section of the uh, pyramid text um, uh, for Pepi. This Pepi is the star which gives light to the sky. This Pepi has ascended to the God, to the Netter, so that this Pepi may be protected. Heaven will never be without this Pepi, and the earth will never be without this Pepi. This Pepi will abide as a living being in your midst. Pepi is a star which knows not destruction, the offspring of the great heaven, which is in the palace of Selket. Ray has received this Pepi to himself in the heavens, and this Pepi shall live. Even as he who sets in the west of the sky lives when he rises in the east of the sky. Beautiful writings. I'm excited to get into these writings today. And then here we have. Here we have Teti. Uh, so here is um, Teti here, as you see in the shin with the bread loaf and the reed leaf, as I showed in his um, his myrrh that we just went through uh, with Jed and the os and the myrrh, the pyramid here. Predecessor Unas, uh, so Unas was prior to Teti here, and he was succeeded by Usur Kare. Um, and then here we also have his wives and his children, uh, and Pepi the first being uh, one of his sons. So Teti, the first king of the sixth dynasty, chose to build his pyramid and adjoining complex to the northeast of the pyramid of Usur Kaf and at the southern end of the archaic tombs located at Saqqara North. In choosing this location, Teti may have deliberately opted to build his pyramid along the diagonal formed by the pyramids of Sekim Ket, Unas, Netri, Ket, and Usur Kaf from southwest to the northeast, thereby confirming his allegiance to Egypt's past. The original name of this funerary complex was the Jed As Wut remaining of the places as you see here to jed os ut so here is a, a sistrum uh embedded with the names of king teti dynasty 6 23 23 22 uh, 91 bce a section number 2671450 uh, and you have his names here his serek name or his uh heru name and um one of his nomen names here teti and then we also have uh, his names that I'll show. So here is the funerary complex of King Teti. Uh, you see an image here uh, with his actual myrrh here, uh, titled the Tet Aset Teta, right? The Tet Aset Teta, the Pyramid of Teti. So um, it's good to know the actual original names of these complexes uh, because we go by what the ancestors said. Uh, so this is, um, this is good to take note of. All right, and here is uh, Teti here on the wall. Uh, and this is actually on the Mastaba, 
of uh, Kagimni. So for those of the um, the TOM members who um, who made it to uh, the first class, um, and which is also a class that's available in the Discord for the teachings of Maat members, um, when we first started uh, Maat Wisdom Wednesdays, um, I started with the teachings of Kagimni. Uh, so uh, his writings exist and live on the a papyrus called the Pris P R I S S E papyrus. Uh, and it's alongside the uh, teachings of Patahotep. So they're both on this same papyrus, which dates back to around 1900 BCE, uh, which is one of the oldest surviving um, writings on papyrus. And uh, this brother here is also an author on that papyrus here, uh, Kagimni. And right here you see Teti, uh, right here in the Shin, Teti with Je the Jed, Aset with the Myrrh here. Uh, the Pertichet, the House of Eternity, or Tomb, what they call Mastabas, or Tombs, or the Metanetta word is Pertichet, right, to the House of Eternity. And Vizier to Par E.E. Pharaoh Teti, so uh, Kagimni was a Vizier. And then here we have some of the beautiful writings here uh, in Teti's. Uh, Mer, the Dejet Aset Tata. Uh, and here we have him as well, standing here with the Sakim Scepter. Uh, this is inside of Kagimni's uh, Per Techet. This is inside Kagimni's Mastaba, right here. Uh, the great brother Teti. And here is um, here are some of his names, right here. So he has his Heru name, his Sarek name, which is Hord Seshet. Tawi, Heru, the one who pacifies the two lands. And then we have the Nepti name, the Shetep, Neb, the Bet, the one who pacifies the two ladies, right? Right here. Uh, Hotep, Nepti, the two ladies are at peace. His golden falcon name, Sma, Bak, Nebu, the golden falcon unites. The golden falcon. His gnomon name, his Sa, Ra name, the, um, the son of Ra, Teti. Right, the son of Ra, Teti. And uh, this is a name that's on the king's list. Teti Mer in Pata. Teti, beloved of Pata. Uh, so this is, uh, of course, on um, Kagimni's uh, Mastaba here, the Per Techet. As we see, Teti, I have it highlighted here. Teti, the Jed, Ost. Teti, the Dejed. The places of Teti endure with the myrrh right here. And then here's a final image here. The pyramid of Teti is a smooth sided pyramid situated in the pyramid field at Saqqara in Egypt. It is historically the second known pyramid containing pyramid text. It was originally called Teti's places are enduring. Hail Osiris Teti, stand up now. Heru has come to install you among the Natiru. Heru has set his love on you and has provided for you. Heru has fastened his eye to you. Heru has opened your eye for you that you might see with it. The Natiru have raised your face for you, for they have set their love on you. Aset and Neptet have restored your strength, and Heru is not distant from you. And you are his Ka, and your sight will be delighted by him. All right, so those are the uh, three pyramids that we'll be looking at uh, Unas, Teti, and Pepi. Um, and so um, we're now going to allow the uh, great brother uh, Atef Rimkin Ma'at to uh, begin the readings for us. And uh, hope you all are taking your notes and. Um, ready to go into these uh, very powerful writings which brought spirituality uh, to the planet. Um, so, Hotep and Hinu, everyone, peace and love. Uh, so I'll stop sharing my screen. Hotep, great for that. Thank Tua for that, great brother. How's my sound now? You sound great. Hotep, great. Oh, that was a great uh, field trip, my good brother. Thank you for that. Tua for that, as always. Uh, we will begin with the readings. Again, we're reading from 
Let me show everyone the book <clears throat> that we're reading from. Share my screen. Everyone hit that like button. Uh, hit the like button and uh, share this to your platforms. Uh, send in your support. Um, yes, Hotep and Hindu. Okay, Hotep is my screen sharing. Yes, sir. Okay, we are reading from this great book right here, The Literature of Ancient Egypt by William Kelly Simpson. And we will be reading on page... 247, I believe it is. Yes, it is. Page 247. So this is the Pyramid Text by William Kelly Simpson. That's the book we're reading from on page 247. Everyone go pick it up. It's a great, great, great book. And uh, that was a great tour that you gave us. Great field trip. So let us begin. Selections from the Pyramid Text. Pyramid texts found in the last royal pyramid of the fifth and those of the sixth dynasties constitute the oldest collection of Egyptian religious. I can't, I'm not going to say the word <laughs> mythological, but we all know that that means story. So, uh, consisting of mortuary rituals which had developed over a period of centuries. The general theme of these texts is the burial and rebirth of the deceased king. And the texts themselves are rich in the varied stories and traditions of the old kingdom. The texts were constructed from a number of originally separate story strains and were used during and after the burial rituals of the king. Although the pyramid texts were not intended to be a systematic exposition of Egyptian stories and theology, they can nevertheless serve as a basis for the reconstruction of the old kingdom religious thought careful study of these texts will reveal the ingenious manner in which the Kometian stories were able to combine religious speculation and the royal political ideology which had developed around the kingship. There are many references and expressions in the pyramid text which make little sense to the modern reader, but their mystery can to an extent be overcome by realizing the symbolic value of which the story's expression. Despite the obscurity of some passages, the religious and poetic genius of many of these texts is very much in evidence. The hieroglyphic texts are available in Kurt Sethi, Di Egyptian Pyramidian Texts, Volumes 1 through 4, 1928 to 22. Title Sheen 1960. The oldest selection of texts, those from the Pyramid of Unaz, may be found in A. Piankov, the Pyramid of Unaz, Princeton 1968. A translation of the full corpus of the Pyramid text is available in R. O. Faulkner, the Ancient Egyptian Pyramid Text, Oxford 1969. A number of useful studies of the various aspects of the Pyramid text are also available in Egyptian theology in the third millennial BC, 1959, page 169 to 2012, J.G. Griffiths, The Conflict of Horus and Seth, which we read last week, V.A. Tobin, Myth and Politics in the Old Kingdom of Egypt, 1991. Thanks are due to Dr. James Allen of the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York for some useful suggestions on the translation of the pyramid text. With regard to the Egyptian terms Ba, Unk, and Ka, I have preferred to leave them in their original rather than to translate them by English terms, which may not render their exact meaning. Finally, in several passages, I have preferred a slightly freer translation in order to produce a smoother English rendition. Let us begin. Utterance 214, a spell for ascension. Hail, Unas, take heed of the lake. These words to be spoken four times. Hail, Unas, take heed of the lake. Hail, Unas, take heed of the lake. Hail, Unas, take heed of the lake. 
The messengers of your car have come for you. The messengers of your father have come for you. The messengers of Ra have come for you. Follow behind your son that you may purify yourself. Your bones are the divine falcons and the Uriah which are in the sky. You will abide at the side of the netter. You will entrust your house to your son whom you have begotten. As for anyone who speaks evil against the name of Unas, when you go out, Geb will degrade him to the lowest place in his city. He will retreat and be weary, but you will purify yourself in the celestial waters. You shall come down upon the bands of bronze on the arms of Heru, and his name of he who is in the Hinu bark. All mankind shall acclaim you, for the stars which know not destruction have exalted you. Get yourself up to the place where your father abides, to the place where Gab abides, and he will give you the Uraeus which is on the brow of Heru. Through it you will become an unk, through it you will become mighty, through it you will become preeminent among the Western. Utterance 217, the deceased ascends to Ray Atum. O oh, Ray Atum, this Unas has come to you as an unk who knows not destruction. As Lord of the destiny of the ends of the earth, your son has come to you. This Unas has come to you. You will travel the firmament, united in the darkness, and you will rise on the horizon in the place where you are radiant. O Seth and Neptet, go and declare to the netter of the upper Kemet and their Aku. Behold, this Unas comes indeed as a spirit who knows not destruction. Should he will that you die, then die you shall. Should he will that you live, then live you shall. O Ray Atum, this Unas has come to you as an unk who knows not destruction. As Lord of the destiny of the ends of the earth, your son has come to you. This Onas has come to you. You will travel the firmament united in the darkness, and you will rise on the horizon in the place where you are radiant. O oh, Asar and Aset, go and declare to the netters of Lower Kemet and their Aku, behold, this Unas has come indeed as a spirit who knows not destruction. Praiseworthy is he, Lord of the Nile flood. Praise him, O spirits who are in the waters. Whomever he wills to live, he indeed shall live. Whomever he wills to die, he indeed shall die. O Ray Atum, this Unas has come to you as an unk who knows not destruction. As Lord of the destiny of the ends of the earth, your son has come to you. This Unas has come to you. You will travel the firmament united in the darkness, and you will rise on the horizon in the place where you are radiant. O Tahuti, go and declare to the western netters and their Aku. Behold, this Unas has come as an unk who knows not destruction, one adorned as Anubis around his neck ruler of the western height he will try the hearts for he is powerful over the hearts whomever wills to live he indeed shall live whomever he wills to die he indeed shall die O oh, ray atum this unas has come to you as an unk who knows not destruction as the as lord of the destiny of the ends of the earth your son has come to you this unas has come to you you will travel the firmament united in the darkness, and you will rise on the horizon in the place where you are radiant. O Heru, go and declare to the eastern bow, and there Aku. Behold, this Unas has come as an unk who knows not destruction. Whomever he wills to live, he indeed shall live. Whomever he wills to die, he indeed shall die. O Ray Atum, your son has come to you. Unas has come to you. Cause him to ascend to you and clasp him to yourself in your embrace. 
for he is your son, the son of your body unto eternity. Utterance 364, a spell for resurrection. Hail, Osar Teti, stand up now. Horus has come to install you among the Netra. Horus has set his love on you and has provided for you. Heru has fastened his eye to you. Heru has opened your eye for you that you might see with it. The Netiru have raised your face for you, for they have set their love on you. Aset and Neptet have restored your strength, and Heru is not distant from you. For you are his cock, and your sight will be delighted by him. Make haste and take to yourself the word of Heru to be at peace through it. Hearken to Heru, evil will never befall you. For he who has appointed the Natiru to attend you, hail Asar Teti, awake now. Deb has brought Heru to you that he may establish you. Heru has found you and has become an unk through you. Heru has appointed the Natiru to approach you. He has given them to you that they may brighten your face. Heru has placed you in the forefront of the Natiru and has ordained that you should claim your full supremacy. Heru has bound himself to you and will never part from you. Heru has given you life in this, your name of Anjeti. Heru has given to you his mighty eye. He has given it to you that you may be powerful and that all your enemies may fear you. Heru has made you complete and whole with his eye and this its name of the divine offering. Heru has taken the Natiru captive on your behalf and they will not flee from you in the place whither you have gone. Heru has, assembly, have, has assembled the Natiru for you and they will not flee from you in the place wherein you drown. Neptis has united for you all your limbs. In this, her name of Shashet, mistress of builders, she has restored them for you so that you are given to your mother, Newt, in her name of sarcophagus, Newt, has embraced you in her name, sarcophagus, and you have been carried to her in her name of tomb. Heru has united your limbs for you, and he will not permit you to decay. He has assembled you, and there will be no disorder within you. Heru has established you. Do not falter. Hail, Asar Teti, raise your heart. Be justly proud. Open your mouth. Heru has protected you, and his protection of you shall not fail. Hail, Asar Teti. You are a powerful netter, and there is no netter like you. Heru has given you his children that they may raise you on high. He has given to you all the netiru that they may attend you and that you may rule over them. Heru has carried you in his name of Hanubar, and he will exalt you in the name of Sokar. You shall live and travel every day. You shall become an unk in your name of Horizon from which Ray proceeds. You shall be honored. You shall be mighty. You shall be a ba. You shall be powerful unto ages of ages. Utterance 412, a spell for resurrection. <clears throat> the great one has fallen upon his side. He who is in the debt trembled, but his head has been raised up by Ra, for he despises sleep and scorns languor. O flesh of Teti, do not rot, do not putrefy, do not smell foul. Your foot will not go astray.
your movements will not wander. You will not tread upon the decay of Asar. You shall approach the sky like Orion, and your Ba will be watchful like Santis. And you shall be a Ba, for you are a Ba. You shall be honored, for you are honored. Your Ba shall stand amidst the Natiru as Heru of Iru. Let off for you well up in the hearts of the Natiru, like unto the Neith crown on the head of the king of lower Egypt, like unto the crown of upper Kemet upon the head of her king, like unto the braids on the head of the Bedouin. You shall hold fast to the hands of the stars which know not destruction. Your bones will never perish. Your flesh will never decay. O Teti, your limbs will not be far from you. For you are indeed one of the Natiru. Pa sails southward to you. Dep sails northward to you. The ritual mourner wails for you. Officiating priests are robbed for you. Come in peace, is said to you, O Teti, by your father. Come in peace, he said, is said to you by Ray. The portals of heaven open up to you. The gates of the Duat unfold to you, for you have descended as the jackal of upper Egypt, even as Anubis who reclines upon his stomach, even as Wapau, who is at the head of Un, the great maiden who is at Un has laid her hands upon you. For you have no human mother to bear you. For you have no human father to beget you. Your mother is the great wild cow of Nekev. She who wears the white royal headcloth. She who wears the lofty plumes. She who is pendulous of breasts. She will nurse you and never wean you. Bestir yourself on your left side. Place yourself on your right side. For your thrones among the Natiru are established and Ray supports you with his shoulder. Your odor is their odor. Your sweat is the sweat of the two Enneads. You will appear in the royal headdress, your hand clutching the scepter and your fist grasping the mace. Stand at the forefront of the conclaves of upper and lower Egypt. Arbitrate between the Natiru, for you are among those who surround Ra, those who are before the morning star. You will be born in your months as the moon Ray will support you on the horizon, and the stars which know not destruction will attend you. Prepare yourself for the coming of Ra, so that you may be pure when you go forth to Ra. The heavens will not be without you unto eternity. Utterance 422, Transformation of the Deceased into an Unk. Hail, Peppy, go forth that you may become an Unk, that you may be mighty as a Natiru successor to Asar. You have your Ba within your body. You have your power around you. You have your crown of lower Egypt upon your head. You have your crown of upper Egypt upon your shoulder. Your face is forward and adoration of you precedes you. The followers of the Natiru are behind you. The nobles of the Natiru precede you. Proclaiming, this Natiru, this Netter has come. The Netter has come. This Pepe has come upon the throne of Asar. This Unk has come. He who is in Nedet, he who is mighty in the gnome of Abydos. Isis greets you. 
Neptus cries out to you. The Unk approach you and prostrate themselves. They kiss the earth before your feet because of fear of you. O Pepe, in the cities of Sire, go forth in the presence of your mother, Newt, that she may grasp your hand, that she may show you the road to the horizon, to the place where the portals of heaven unfold for you. The portals of the sky give way before you. There you will find Ra standing and waiting for you. He will grasp your hand for you. He will lead you to the two conclaves of heaven. He will secure you upon the throne of a star. Hail, Pepe. The eye of Heru has come to you that it may speak for your Ba, which is among the Natiru, has come to you. Your power, which is among the Aku, has come to you. The sun has protected the father. Heru has protected Asar. Heru has protected this Pepe from the hand of his enemy. You shall stand firm, O Pepe, protected and equipped as a netter, endowed with the essence of Asar on the throne of Kenti Amenti. You will do what he has want to do among the Aku, the stars which no, not destruction. Your son will ascend your throne, endowed with your essence, and will do what you would want to do at the head of the living, in accordance with the command of Ra, the great Natiru. He will cultivate barley, he will cultivate emmer, and he will offer them to you. Hail, Pepe. All life and dominion has been given to you for eternity by Ra. You will lay claim to your own, for you have taken the essence of a Natiru. You will be great in the West with the Natiru who are at the head of the lake. Hail, Pepe. Your Ba will stand among the Natiru, among the Aku. For the fear of you is upon their hearts. Hail, Pepe, ascend, O Pepe, to your throne at the head of the living. For the terror of you is upon their hearts. Your name shall live on earth. Your name shall be eternal on earth. You shall never perish. Neither shall you be destroyed unto the ages of ages. Utterance 473. The deceased crosses the river of heaven. The fairies of heaven have been launched by the day bark for Ra, so that Ra may travel on them to Harakati. On the horizon, the fairies of heaven have been launched by the night bark for Harakati, so that Harakati may travel on them to Ra on the horizon. The fairies of heaven have been brought down to Pepe by the day bark, so that Pepe may go forth on them to Ra on the horizon. The fairies of heaven have been brought down to Pepe by the night bark, so that Pepe may go forth on them to Harati on the horizon. Pepe will go forth on the east side of heaven where the Natiru are born. And Pepe will be born as Horus, as he of the horizon. Pepe is justified, and the car of Pepe is justified. Sothis is the sister of Pepe, and the morning star is the child of Pepe. Pepe has found the Aku, who are eloquent of speech, sitting on the two banks of the lake of Shishesh. The drinking place of the Unk, eloquent of speech. Who are you? Say they to Pepe. Say the Aku, eloquent of speech. This Pepe is an Unk, eloquent of speech. Then how did this happen to you? Say they to Pepe. Say the Aku, eloquent of speech. That you have come to this place which is more noble than every place. 
Pepe has come to this place, which is more noble than any place, for the fairies of heaven have been launched by the day bark for Ra, so that Ra may travel on them to Parakati on the horizon. The fairies of heaven have been launched by the night bark for Parakati, so that Parakati may travel on them to Ra on the horizon. The fairies of heaven have been brought down to Pepe by the day bar, so that Pepe may go forth on them to Ra on the horizon. The fairies of heaven have been brought down to Pepe by the night bar, so that Pepe may go forth on them to Harakati on the horizon. Pepe will go forth on the east side of heaven where the Natiru are born, and Pepe will be born as Heru as he of the horizon. Pepe is justified, and the cry of Pepe is justified. Give praise to this Pepe. Give praise to the Ka of this Pepe. Sothis is the sister of Pepe, and the morning star is the child of Pepe. This Pepe will go with you. This Pepe will stroll with you in the field of Russians. He will moor as you moor in the field of turquoise. This peppy will eat what you eat. This peppy will live on what you live on. This peppy will be clothed with that with which you are clothed. This peppy will be anointed with that which you are anointed. Peppy will receive water with you from the nursing pool, the drinking place of the unk, eloquent of speech. This Pepe will sit at the head of the great conclave. Pepe will control the unk, eloquent of speech. This Pepe will sit on the two banks of the lake of Shishash. This Pepe will control the unk, eloquent of speech. Utterance 570, the deification of the deceased. The face of heaven is brilliant. The expanse of the sky is dazzling. The Natiru is begotten, says heaven. On the arms of Shu and Tefnu, and on my arms, the great one has risen. He whom the Natiru proclaimed, hear now this decree which Pepe speaks to you. Be informed concerning this Pepe. Pepe is a great one and the son of a great one. This Pepe is with you. Take this Pepe to life and dominion forever with you. Hear now, O Kepara, this decree which is spoken to you. Be informed concerning this Pepe. Pepe is a great one and the son of a great one. This Pepe is with you. Take this Pepe with you. Hear now, O Nu, this decree which is spoken to you. Be informed concerning this Pepe. Pepe is a great one and the son of a great one. This Pepe is with you. Take this Pepe with you. Hear now, O Atum, this decree which is spoken to you. Be informed concerning this Pepe. For Pepe is a great one and the son of a great one. This Pepe is with you. Take this Pepe with you. O mighty one, son of Geb. O powerful one, son of Asar. Hear now this decree which is spoken to you. Be informed concerning this Pepe. For Pepe is a great one and the son of a great one. This Pepe is with you. Take this Pepe with you. Ascend to this Pepe in your name of Ra, that you may banish the storm clouds of the sky until Horakati has appeared, that he may hear his mighty deeds and his praise in the mouth of the two Enneads. How beautiful you are, says his mother, my heir, says Asar. This Pepe will not swallow the eye of Heru, lest men say, he will die because of it. This Pepe will not swallow a limb of a sar, lest the Natiru say he will die because of it. This Pepe will live on the offerings of his father Atum, and you will protect him, O Nekbet. 
You have protected Pepe, O Nekbet, within the palace of the magistrate, which is at Om. You have entrusted him to one who is in his service, so that this Pepe may be provided for. He who is in his service has entrusted this Pepe to him who serves the litter, so that Pepe may be provided for. This Pepe has escaped his day of submission to death, as Seth has escaped his day of submission to death. This Pepe has escaped his fortnight of submission to death, as Seth also escaped his fortnight of submission to death. This Pepe has escaped his months of submission to death, as Seth has escaped his months of submission to death. This Pepe has escaped his year of submission to death, as Seth has escaped his year of submission to death. Sink not down, O arms of Pepe, your pillars which support Newt even as Shu, your metal bones of this Pepe, and you his limbs which know not destruction. This Pepe is the star which gives light to the sky. This Pepe has ascended to the netter so that this Pepe may be protected. Heaven will never be without this Pepe, and the earth will never be without this Pepe. This Pepe will abide as a living being in your midst. O oh, Nutiru of the lower heaven, your stars which know not destruction, you who pass over the land of Libya, who support yourselves on your Dijam scepter, this Pepe supports himself with you on a wise scepter and a Dijam scepter. Pepe is your fourth, O Nitiru of the lower heaven, your stars which know not destruction. You who pass over the land of Libya, who support yourselves on your Dijam scepter. This Pepe supports himself with you on a wise scepter and a Dijam scepter. Pepe is your third. O Nitiru of the lower heaven, you stars which know not destruction, you who pass over the land of Libya, who support yourselves on your Dijam scepter. This Pepe supports himself with you on a Waz scepter and a Dijam scepter by command of Heru, the heir and king of the Nitiru. This Pepe is the one who has seized the white crown, the one upon whom is the tie of the red crown. This Pepe is the Uraeus which proceeds from Seth, the Uraeus which moves back and forth. Restore Pepe to health, restore him to life. This Pepe is the one of Gore, came from Nawah. This Pepe is the eye of Heru, which was not eaten, but spat out. And he will not be eaten, but will be spat out. Hear now this utterance, which is spoken to you, O Ra. Your essence is in Pepe, O Ra. Your essence is given life in Pepe, O Ra. The baboons have been killed by the ape, and the ape has been killed by the baboons. You. O trapper, and you, O potent male, you who belong to the primeval generation, you who hasten, one to punishment and one to justification, you were, you who were born when wrath had not yet come to be, you who were born when dispute had not yet come to be, you who were born when conflict had not yet come to be. You who were born when strife had not yet come to be. You who were born when the eye of Heru had not yet been injured. And when the testicles of Seth had not yet been torn away. This Pepe is the blood which came forth from Arset. He is the blood which came forth from Neptet. He will gird up his loins. And there is nothing the Natiru can do against him. This Pepe is the successor of Ra, and this Pepe can never die. 
Hear, O Gab, prince of all the Natiru, and endow him with his nature. Hear, O Tahuti, source of concord among the Netu. Horus will open the way for him, and Seth will be his defender. This Pepe will rise on the eastern side of heaven, like Ra who rises on the eastern side of heaven. Utterance 571, the deceased is the eternal son of Atum. The mother of Pepe has become pregnant with him who is in the lower heaven. This Pepe has been begotten by his father Atum at a time when the sky had not yet come into being, when the earth had not yet come into being, when mankind had not yet come into being, when the Natiru had not yet been born, when death had not yet come into being, this Pepe will escape the day of submission to death. Even as Seth escaped his day of submission to death, this Pepe is on the road to your domain. O Natiru of the lower heaven, you who know not the assault of your enemies, and this Pepe will not know the assault of his enemy. O oh, you who die not at the hands of a king, this Pepe will not die at the hands of a king. O oh, you who die not through any form of death, this Pepe will not die through any form of death. Pepe is a star which knows not destruction, the offspring of the great heaven which is in the palace of Selket. Ra has received this Pepe to himself in the heavens and this Pepe shall live, even as he who sets in the west of the sky lives, when he rises in the east of the sky. He who is in his service has entrusted this Pepe to him who serves the litter, that he may attend to this Pepe, for this Pepe is a star. The protection of Ra is upon this Pepe, and the protection of Ra cannot be removed from upon this Pepe. Heru has extended his two arms to him, even to this Pepe, that he may entrust this Pepe to Shu, who raises his arms to support the sky. O Ra, give your hand to this Pepe. O great Netter, give your staff to this Pepe, so that he may live unto eternity. Brothers, must be. you know that's my first time reading the whole text in that book. Um, outside of what Saba teaches on, that's my first time, and I'm definitely, definitely going to do that 360 tour because I've been in many many of the um many of the I've taken many of those tours but I haven't taken that one so uh thanks for that uh Ani that was that was great uh, definitely before the reading and uh yeah I got chills as I was reading that because a lot of those things that I was reading um resonate with me through Saba's teaching and um, had I not been a student of the great Saba, I wouldn't understand a lot of that what is written. Um, and I still don't understand a lot of it, but I understand some of it. And um, I just want to just I just want to hand to the great Natirus and the great part Eatons for writing that and leaving that for us to uh, to 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 be able to enjoy and um, learn from. And um, yeah, I'm definitely, man, I, I was getting, I was getting chills. I had to stop and take some water breaks. Usually I just read straight through, but uh, that was, uh, and then I'm, 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 I'm reading about set and then I'm looking at uh, Ani's shirt. It's just so much, everything is like 
resonating and i'm it's just i don't know it's uh it's a beautiful thing man i'm 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 just honored to be able to read these and share this share our ancestors writings with all of you um and to become acquainted and familiar with it and to learn alongside all of you um as we sat and learned about uh, martin luther king um in school and uh christopher columbus uh we sat together and we learned in school all the lies they taught um so it's just a beautiful thing to be able to learn um about our ancestors um about the followers of Mahat, and to be able to begin to discover the truth um and unlearn as we relearn so i just want to say to out to everyone in the chat for uh, allowing me um that time to read and to present this reading for you again this is from um william kelly simpson the book ancient literature of Kemet. um i encourage you to go pick it up it's an excellent excellent book um with a lot of our ancestors writing so to out for that Go ahead, great brother Minku Ara. Uh, to a brother Tef for uh, picking, choosing that story and uh, reading that. And uh, I like how uh, it's a lot of information to process. Like you said, the beautiful thing is uh, we are, we get to be more familiarized with um, the Par EE, the Nesu BT, uh, the followers of Ma'at, uh the pharaohs uh like it it makes it more like um personalized and so um to think about what was happening during that time and to be able to place certain uh people uh to different aspects to these stories it's pretty powerful and uh you know you can see they had a lot to say and uh they weren't like because they were doing a lot and so they weren't sitting around you know doing nothing and it's so poetic i like how it's very poetic poetic and the tone of the stories uh that i really liked and uh kind of like you know learning from saba and learning about the followers of ma'at and about kemet it just all makes you have more questions like one of the things I want to go back and find out about uh, in the utterance 569, the Pepe, he says he will more in the field of turquoise. I'm like, what does that even? What does that even mean? What is the field of turquoise, and what does he mean by more? And there's like a lot of examples of things that are mentioned in these stories that kind of bring you in and make you want to learn more so uh such beautiful powerful stories i really like too anytime uh of course tahuti is mentioned of course that always catches my attention and uh so i think it was in the utterance uh the deceased ascends to ra atum and says oh tahuti go and declare to the western netters and their a coup behold this unes has come and as an ak who knows not destruction one adorned as anubis around his neck ruler of the western height he will try the hearts for he is powerful over the hearts whomever wills to live he indeed shall live whomever what he wills to die he indeed shall die and so uh i thought that was really powerful and i like how so many different people are involved in the stories and so this is my first time uh hearing that whole story so it's very powerful very beautiful to learn more about um what the netters and what the people were doing during that time Hotep, uh, yes, excellent words, uh, great brothers. Yeah, this is, um, these writings are uh, extremely powerful uh, and uh, it's, there's a lot of them. 
<laughs> and that's the that's the beautiful thing about it is there's so much writings um, when it comes to what's known as the pyramid text and we got some um, some some small sections um, throughout the three pyramids of Pepe, uh, Teti and Unas um, and it's it it's just um, it's something that humbles you um, you know to 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 be able to place yourself uh, into the con the consciousness of uh, the people who brought this forward and um, and the reason behind everything that they did it's um, it's it's very powerful and uh, you see it echoed completely uh, throughout many different um, sections of uh, uh, thought so um, you know these uh, these texts these pyramid texts uh, are and as you notice there's there's a lot of uh, repetition in them uh, there's um, there's a lot of uh, saying things it, it tells you to say him hey say this four times or you you may see it um, start um, with a different the starting may be different within a paragraph and then the last two sentences uh, will be the same and there's a lot of repetition and um, and of course utterances which this all goes back to utterance and uh, sound vibration and speaking and what's all connected with that and uh, it's it's um, it's very powerful and it and it talks about um, becoming an ock um, so uh, I want to share this um, if if everyone wants to uh, have access to these writings um, the, the the biggest um, collection because they're still being worked on like this isn't a complete every single pyramid text is available to read and it's, it's not like there's this a continuous um, project that they're working on uh, but here is where you will uh, find um, a, the collection of uh, what we have available uh, as far as the uh, ancient Egyptian pyramid text second edition by uh, James P. Allen so if you all don't have this uh, I would definitely suggest getting this as well so you can go into the um, the full text of the uh, of the pyramid text because as you see um, there was three here and there's there's many more um, uh, Neith uh, Pepe the second as I said there's there's many part ees and and um, and the Netarets or the the him -tees, where the wives of the par ees also have uh, pyramids and pyramid texts. Uh, so this is absolutely uh, a must get if you do not have this. And here was something that um, <clears throat> that stood out to me. A lot of them did, but I only took a few. Hear, O Geb, prince of all the gods, and endow him with his nature. Hear, O Tahuti, source of concord among the Netter. Heru will open the way for him, right? The opening up of the way, the opening of the way, the opening of the mouth. It's all about opening up the oop, uh, the, the horns of the bull, of the ka, and open using that to open up, just like you open up a door to walk through. So Heru will open up the way for him, and Set will be his defender. So once again, here is Set. Um, being utilized in a, in a way of protection and uh, positivity and light uh, as protecting um, the Ak or Ku of um, Unas or, or of Pepe or of Teti. So Set is defending him. This Pepe will rise on the eastern side of heaven like Ray who rises on the eastern side of heaven. Um, which is the first line in the Purim Haru, right? Dua Ra Keft Uben F in Ku Aptet Int Pet. Adoration to rise, he rises on the eastern horizon of heaven. Um, so, of course, which comes from the pyramid text. Make haste and take to yourself the word of Hey Ru to be at peace, to be at peace through it. So, once again, the word, the sound vibration, the utterance. Make haste and take to yourself the word to Hey Ru. So you can be at peace through it. Hearken to Heru. Evil will never befall you. 
for he has appointed the Natiru to attend you. This is powerful, especially when you realize um, the realities that we exist in and the uh, quantum worlds and the unseen worlds, the non-physical realities that exist and the consciousness that exists there uh, to have this attached to you and to have this as a guide um, and as magic through the actual utterance and through the, the writings um, is just so powerful. So to so to hearken to Heru, evil will never befall you. That's powerful. Son Atum, this Unas has come to you, an imperishable Ak, just like how they speak about the stars, right? An imperishable star. So that can be interchanged, Ak and star. And, and you know, as we read through these pyramid texts, how um, you are acknowledged as a star. You, you're literally called a star, uh, which brought forth all of the teachings today and and what it people say you know hey you, you're a, a star seed and uh, you know i'm connected to the stars and that all comes directly from these writings here in the pyramid text right to teach you that you are a star and um and that was something that was um translated into the uh the hermetica as well uh which then led to of course your star seeds and and all of that teaching but uh, I know that was one of the first things that that uh, helped to give me some type of um, um, comfortability in knowing when you know something, but you're not sure how you know it. Uh, it was when I came across the text that speak about that, that speak about you are a soul living. You're a star. Um, you're literally a star uh, in a physical body because that's how I always felt. So to see it, to be able to see it and read it and say, oh, well, this is actually connected to because the first time I read it was in the um, the Emerald Tablets, which, of course, we know um, um, is leads back to an Arabic source and um, is the, the Hermetica and the Greeks versions of uh, what these writings are here. But that was the first time I came across it and, of course, getting led to the source of the pyramid text. Uh, teaching that you are an imperishable ock, you're an imperishable star, uh, Lord of the property of the place of the four papyrus columns. Your son has come to you. This Unas has come to you. You shall both traverse the above after gathering in the Netter Kurt and rise from the Aket, from the place in which you have both become ock. So <laughs> this is powerful so to tra to traverse the above and the gathering in the netrakert so these are two separate places that you uh, have the ability to traverse in and out to and fro and rise from a ket which a ket is another place uh with the root word ak in it which is where you become an ak uh, when you rise from the aket to become an ak from the place in which you have both become ak as it says here uh, so that's very extremely powerful uh, to, to have that utterance and to uh, overstand it um, and to um, and to be able to um, utilize it right to um, to learn from those who um, mastered this and brought this forward uh, is where I'm grateful. I really am. You will travel the firmament. Right. You will travel the firmament united in darkness and you will rise on the horizon in the place where you are radiant. So, of course, traversing in the firmament. Um, united in darkness, right? My being is surrounded is in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. This is what this is saying. United in darkness and you will rise on the horizon in the place where you are radiant. You're coming forth as conscious light. O Asar and Aset, go and declare to the Natiru of Lower Egypt and their Aku. Behold, this Unas has come indeed as a spirit who knows not destruction. Praiseworthy is he, Lord of the Nile flood. Praise him, O spirits who are in the waters. Whomever he wills to live, 
he indeed shall live. Whomever he wills to die, he indeed shall die. So, of course, uh, this is, and this is why you always see the, um, and I've showed a, a few times, um, and I showed in uh, becoming a God body, becoming a netter, uh, and and why you actually uh, are to become a netter, a nefer netter, right? A nefer netter, uh, and and as you see, I mean, who who else would have the ability to decide, right? Who lives and who dies, right? That's what literally is the definition of a god. Uh, so that's very powerful and beautiful uh, to um, to be able to know that and to see that the Natiru um, are guiding you and giving you the blueprint on how to become what they have become and who they are. And um, Ak, this is a, a definition in um, in the um, pyramid text of uh, James P. Allen. Uh, there's a glossary on the back for so for these words that they put in the pyramid text a lot of them are in uh, italics so you can go to the back of the book and you can find that word and see what that word is um what that word means so here is ak which you're transforming into it says a deceased person whose ba has reunited with its ka so it's the unification of the ba and the ka making possible eternal life as a spirit among the living. The pyramid texts were known as aquifers. So um, right here, it's an aku. Uh, so this word aquifer is literally to transform into an ak, uh, which is what the pyramid um, is, which is why the name for the great pyramid is the aku. It's a literal aquifer to turn you into light to combine and have a symbiotic relationship between the ka and the ba designed to aid the, the, the deceased in becoming an ak the verb denotes both the process of becoming an ak and the quality of becoming or being effective uh, so that's very powerful to know right the aket which you see uh, scattered in these texts here aket a place of becoming an ak the latter half of the duat lying between the duat center where the sun unites with asar in the middle of the night and the visible horizon above which the sun rises at dawn and the pyramid text associated with the antechamber of the pyramid um yes aku and that's the ak so which of course is the Tahuti bird. Uh, so this, these, these writings are um, extremely powerful and um, and uh, give a give the guidance on what to look forward to, right? On um, so for someone to tell you, hey, I've been over there. Let me tell you what it's like over there. And. Um, and these are the writings that uh, continue to be passed down, uh, which then led into the coffin text and then into onto papyrus. Uh, and um, so, yes, I, I definitely uh, recommend everyone uh, to go in and and read these uh, because it's it's something that it's something that um, that speaks to you. Right. The more you the more you um, implement my art, the more you um, learn uh, the language um, so we can be able to think like they did, uh, or at least uh, in a similar way, as much as we can uh, being imbued in this matrix that we're in. Um, yeah, it's 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 beautiful. So uh, Hotep and Hinu to the great brother, uh, Atefrem Kim Ma'at for. Uh, choosing this section of this book uh, to read uh, this week for you all uh, because it's 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 very important and um, and it is a very difficult read it's not something that's you know you're just going to read it and understand it uh, no it's a, it's a difficult read and there's a lot of repetition um, in the writing so it's it's not like how sentences are today and um, how we speak today so 
but as you read it um and you and you pull up the the image of or go to the video of the myrrh that it exists in um place yourself inside of that myrrh um and read it uh or listen to it there's audio books of these writings too um and look at the walls as it's being read to you and place yourself inside the consciousness of um of that and and actually being there and having the walls read themselves to you it's a very uh, very powerful ritual that you can use uh, by utilizing the technology that we have today so um let me put the link in the um in the chat room for anyone who may want to come up uh let's see there it is there uh so uh you all can hit that link if you want to come up and let us know what you thought of the reading of the pyramid text and um yeah let us know what you think uh make sure that um you all have hit the like button and you shared uh this content um and send in your send in your support uh for this class so uh hotep hotep everyone great brothers um yeah this is uh I love the pyramid text. Yeah, good brother. <clears throat> I'm um I just came here to learn, brother. So you know, <laughs> I'm learning together. Uh yeah, I'm a baby, brother. I'm a baby. And I had never heard of the pyramid text until Saba started teaching on them. Um and I haven't read those I that what I read today was my first time reading that in its entirety. Uh, and it's time, you know, it was time. It's, Everything has a season, so I just felt like uh, when, when you had text me and asked me what I was reading, I was deciding because I was going to go with two brothers. Am I echoing? Is that me on it No, we don't. I don't hear echo. Um, I was deciding because I was originally going to go with a tale of two brothers, um, but then I was I don't know. I'm I'm like you, uh, Minko. I'm just inspired to to read certain texts, so I was slipping through the pages. And um, yeah, I just decided to read that. Um, and again, it was my first time as well reading it in its entirety. But like I said, being a student of the great Saba Tahuti Amen Hotel Bra, uh, a lot of it resonated with me, even if it was just some of the words, um, some of the lines, um, because it is a very difficult uh, read. But I just want to point out. Uh, those of you that are familiar with the lies uh, that we've been taught in these different religions, those were difficult reads too. When we were reading Shakespeare and we were reading these different uh, writings of, of <laughs> complete lies and half lies and half truths, um, those were difficult reads too as well, um, as very many of us know. So, uh, you know, the thing about it is that if you already know, then you can't know because you already know something. So this is stuff that I don't know. Um, I'm not familiar with the teachings of my ancestors. I'm, 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 I'm so not familiar. So this is why um, it's a challenge for me. It's very challenging um, for me to push myself in that direction um, and the direction to become a netter. Um, and to be that light and that radiant light that I'm supposed to be, uh, not the lie that I was taught. So, um, yeah, I was inspired to read that as as well as uh, so more, so so much more because I do a lot of reading and I'm reading a lot of the stories, um, and and they're all very very beautiful. And I remember when um, when I first got some of the books, uh, I didn't know where to start. Even the per M Haru is the way you read it and how you read it is, is is challenging compared to what we've been taught in this Western matrix. So I just want to uh, implore everyone to just take the, the necessary steps to, um, you know, challenge yourself and to be better um, and don't be scared to grow, you know. So however challenging you may find it, uh, just continue to push yourself if you know it to be the truth, uh, if the foundation that we stand on is my art. So like I said, this is one of the things that motivates me. My art motivates me, it pushes me um, and drives me to be better. So, and for me, it's a whole life process. It's a whole process of 
unlearning and relearning. Um, being stuck in this matrix is, is every day. <laughs> so, you know, this is one of the things that I look forward to is uh, the energy of connecting with you brothers every Sunday, every Friday, every Monday, um, every every day um, that I read, uh, you know, that I that I study and that I grow and, and learn. It's just a beautiful thing. So I uh, implore every one of you to take the necessary steps to put the boat in the water where you at. You know, I'm, I'm sitting up here telling you guys, this is my first time reading this whole text in its entirety. I've heard about it. I've, I've studied a lot on it, um, studying under Saba. He speaks a lot about the pyramid text and the coffin text and these different things. Um, and I have a lot of the books, but I have, I have so many books. <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, but I don't have enough. And uh, as, as I need pointed out, there's so much writings of our ancestors. Every day I'm reading something about um, some type of AI translating these Arcadian or Sumerian quote unquote tablets. And I never hear anything about them translating these tablets. You know, these this this is a secret uh, that's that's in our face. It's right there for us. You know, it's right in our face. You have these people fighting over there on on that land, that land that belongs to a different set of people, a people that's not even in the fight. You know, so I just implore everyone to uh, to strive to be better. Put the boat in the water where you at. Don't be scared. You know, uh, to do something new and to challenge yourself and keep the foundation of my art as your foundation and you will grow. Um, and it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful time that we are in to be able to discover these 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 teachings. And it, it is a frequency. It is a frequency because um, these books, a lot of the a lot of the books that we're reading from. A lot of the literature was discovered in 1800, 1900, before I was born. So it's always been there. It's always been available to us, but we didn't know where to look. You know, shout out to Martin Luther King. We, we, we know the I Have a Dream speech. We've all probably memorized it. I'm pretty sure we know some parts of it by heart. Um, as Saba pointed out, we know who Bruce Banner is. We know who he is when he gets angry. We know who... Clark Kent is. We know who he is when he takes off out of the phone booth. Um, but we don't know about our ancestors. So, um, you know, I just wanted to take the time out to say that I don't know as much as I should as a matter. So I'm learning and growing to become a radiant star. So to out to all of you for allowing me this mission that I'm on and this journey. So to I appreciate all of you and I appreciate you brothers on the panel. Uh, Hindu to the great Saba Tahuti Amenhotep Ra. Hindu to the great Ahati Ma'at. Hindu to the great Ani Pata Aten Tahuti. Hindu to Minku Ara Mary Ma'at. And Hindu to everyone in the chat. Uh, all your beautiful energy, I appreciate it. It's, it's very necessary. And those of you that understand the time that we are in, we don't really have a lot of time to waste. We really don't. So, um, I need how that verse go that you say. Uh, <laughs> you got a verse, brother, that's very inspiring. Um, no time for slacking. How you say it, brother? I don't want to mess your line up, brother. How you say it? Uh, let's see. What What are you? Um, no, time. no time for slacking. Oh, yeah, I'm back. Uh, how you say it brother uh what i say uh no time for slacking or bad habits yes bad uh, habits no. yes 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 no time for bad habits that's a that's a fact so you know it's a challenge every day we have to uh you know we just have to strive to be better like i said put the boat in the water where you at you got to put your boat in the water where you at you have to sail begin to sail from where you're at you know, you can't take off where I need is at. <laughs> Everybody not there. Everybody's not where Minku is at. Everybody's not where I'm at. We have to put the boat in the water where it, where we are at. 
another right. part another part of that line he said in the school of hard knocks we send you back packing yes so that is a hard line if you think about it the double entendre in the school of hard knocks he says i ain't gonna explain it but i uh, send you send you back packing send you back packing back Anyways, let me stop. Yes. Yeah, that's a hard line. <laughs> Bad habits. Yeah. That's a fact. So definitely, man. The link is in the chat. Uh, come up on the panel. Come share your tones. Don't be scared. Don't be shy. You know, we appreciate everybody. We welcome everybody to come up on the panel. If you agree, you disagree. If you liked it or you didn't like it, come up and uh, we love to hear your tones. This isn't uh, one of those panels where we're arguing and and snow is fat here you know uh, this is why we don't get a lot of people on the panel <laughs> we start talking it's fat oh man the chat will be full you know but uh no time what do you say no time for stacking the bad half that is a bar that's right shannon definitely so like i said you know begin to appreciate our ancestors because i appreciate the writing as much as i don't understand it i appreciate it you know um like I said, it challenges, challenges me and pushes me to begin to understand it because um, learning in these few years that I've been learning, I understand that our ancestors were very, very deep. and Everything they did was deliberate and everything they did was never. So the fact that I don't understand it, what's wrong with me? Not that anything is wrong with me, but um, I've been taught so much. It's fact. I've been taught so much foolishness right um the lie it's just so many lies you know this is this is what led me here one of the things that led me here was i was just fed up with the lies everything was a lie i was like is everything a lie like everything 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 oh my goodness i was like everything can't be a lie there has to be there has to be something that's out here that's the truth um <laughs> but you know when you speak it's English, gotta be gotta be bro but when you speak english right um and you're and you're completely disconnected from your culture um you know you're you 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 fall for the lie you're subjected to whatever they i tell people all the time i say they taught us what to think not how to think we're not free thinkers we don't think for ourselves they taught us what to think about everything because we're educated by them so of course we don't understand it that's a you bar know? right there yeah you know so it's like that's what i started doing i started just recognizing the lie i i didn't recognize no truth at first i didn't know i had never heard of my eye never never and i've been on the i've seen the sun rotate the earth rotate around the sun for many years and i had never heard of that word never paid attention to it on the shirt Never heard it in a rap song. I had never heard it before. Um, but I had heard an infinite amount of lies and fairy tales and stories, you know. So um, it's time to build, man. It's time to build instead of destroy. It's time to build. And if we're destroying, then we need to be destroying. It's fat. It's fat that's within ourselves. Because, uh, man, it's, you know, I, I sometimes like to think that I'm shamed that I'm not familiar with these writings, right? But um, I can't be because it was purposely hidden from us. You know, it was purposely, we were, we were purposely uh, turned in the wrong direction. We were, we were, we were purposely uh, turned upside down, you know? Um, so this is one of the reasons why I don't get too upset with myself. But then... It's like, okay, well, what are you doing to change that? So what are you doing now? Are you are you breaking bad habits on a daily basis? Are you examining yourself on a daily basis, on a moment-to-moment -moment basis? You know, um, but that's the thing that we that we have to look at. You know, what are we doing now, now that we know? Because now I know what my art is. Now I'm familiar with it. Um, so am I, am I doing what's necessary to strive and be better? Or, I'm, or am I still stuck in the same loop uh, and doing the same thing over and over again, which is it's fat. You know, am I striving to be better or am I 
just doing the same thing. I, I, you know, you know, uh, in this society, you know, we have this, uh, we have this saying, oh, we, we grew up, we grew up eating that, or, or we grew up that way, or, or that's all I know. Well, that's not true. That's not true. Um, especially those of us that are here and those of us that are in uh, Saba's class and under his teachings, that's not true. So um, it's a process, you know, like I said, it's a beautiful journey. So like I said, put the boat in the water where you at, you know, um, don't cheat you. Don't cheat yourself out of your process. Your process is your process. You know, when, when, when I see my good brother, I need um, teaching and presenting like that. Um, I'm inspired. I'm inspired to one day be able to present that way and to be able to speak that way. There's no jealousy in my heart. It's no envy. There's nothing but admiration. Um, and adoration for my young brother uh, when I when I see him presenting and speaking and teaching um, it's nothing but adoration you know because we have to examine what's great and strive for that we have to examine what's excellent and strive for that right um, instead of the other way around you know everybody want to be a killer everybody want to be a thug everybody want to be hardcore but hardcore um, with what because as soon as the people pull up, you put your hands up, put your hands behind your back. As soon as the people pull up, you give up. It's no, it's no real fight. You're not really a fighter. You're not really struggling. You're not, you're not, you're not really doing nothing but helping them destroy yourself and your people. That's all you're doing if you're being honest. Um, and I know because I participated in that aspect for a very long time. Um, so right now, I understand that it's my journey and it's my mission to correct and uh, right my wrongs, um, you know. And uh, it's just a beautiful time that we're in. Like I said, I implore everyone to strive and grow to be better and, um, you know, keep the foundation my heart and um, you will succeed. You will become a radiant light, you know. So again, I'm not going to be long-winded. I'm going to say teachingsofmyheart.org. Come join us. <laughs> the, the link is in the chat. You know, support, like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, I'll see. I would love to see uh, a lot more people in Monday Madonetta class. That class is absolutely magical. It's phenomenal. It is um, It's very deep. Um, I love to speak with my... Uh, deterred about it afterwards because she is uh she don't understand a lot of the stuff that we're on it's very complex but like i explained to her um if you already know then there's nothing new to learn if you already know how to drive then i can't teach you how to drive right but have you ever driven a motorcycle <laughs> have you ever driven on the autobahn have you ever driven in new york city Right, there's always something to learn. There's always there's, there's always something to learn. So, um, this is what I tell her about uh, the, the, the the Monday Metal Nether class. Is right now where we're at. A lot of people are asking questions, and we're learning a lot of rituals and a lot of magic, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I've been in the class since day one. This is only her fifth class, maybe sixth class. So she's coming in. Um, to a college level class um, with no prerequisites. <laughs> she, she, she didn't do her, she, did, she hasn't done her prerequisites. So uh, she's learning. And I'm just saying saying that to say that the Monday Metal Metal class is phenomenal. Um, it's very advanced, it's high level. Um, um, and Friday's Hot class is just as monumental. So I know everyone here is there, but uh, I just want to say share um, so we can get more people um, involved with what we've got going on here. You know, I share the link all the time. I'm sharing the classes and I'm sharing all the time. People say they interested in the truth and they, they, they shake and fake in my opinion, um, but that doesn't deter me from sharing it and speaking. They love to hear me speak. They, they, I don't know, I don't know what it is, but um, you know, when I when I show them, I'm like, well, this is my teacher, you know, um, and some of them I think are are sneak watching. That's what I think. I think some of them are sneak watching, but 
at the same time, you know, I'm not going to cheat nobody out their process because everyone processes their own. But um, just share, share the truth, you know, um, share this knowledge that our ancestors left behind because uh, it's a beautiful thing. And we're building a nation here. So we can't do it just us three. Um, it takes the support of the people, you know, to build a nation. It takes all of us. Linku, you had something to say, good brother? Uh, the only thing I'll add to your build, I think uh, everything that you said is very true, very relevant, and that uh, the language that we speak is not actually English. It doesn't come from England. It's a Masonic language that we're speaking. And so uh, everything you said is on point. Uh, we are very, very fortunate because I also share the information with other people and it doesn't uh, I think you have to be I think I I know I think you have to be in a certain vibration and frequency to be able to really come into this energy and uh you gotta you definitely have to you have to it's a it's definitely a process because I did not uh, just arrive at where i am uh i was it's been a journey a very long journey for it to resonate for me to be present uh to be present is means that you are there that you are uh you can really um resonate with this information and so if you're all over the place uh it's it's it'll go over your head and so uh yeah we're very fortunate um i i believe you say a lot of times a uh and i found that to be true uh when the student is ready the teacher will appear because uh i had made a decision that i was going to only listen to certain kind of frequencies and vibrations and i there wasn't very much to listen to besides killer priest and so uh once i saw when his podcast uh launched i would peek in and see what was going on um sometimes there was stuff on there that i wasn't interested in. but when saba came through flawless victory like every time he was on that platform i was glued to to the script to the screen and once he said, if you're interested in learning from me doing classes, I was blowing his line up on Facebook Messenger. And uh, once his podcast, his pod class started, I was like, this is what this is what I've been searching for. So uh, I think you have to I, you have to want it. You know, what I mean, you can't just give somebody something that they don't want. They, I think you have to want it first. I mean, like, I can't really say because everybody experience and journey is different. For me, I wanted it because I heard people talk. You would see pyramids. You would hear people say, oh, the Egyptians weren't white. And so it would be like one ear in one ear and out the other. But when I got into the place where I wanted more and what I was getting was significant, then I was like, oh my goodness, I'm never, I can never go back. Like this is the absolute truth. And like uh, brother Ani Pata shared sources, that's why Saba is the greatest because he, his pathways to awakening that he can take you in is like endless. Like the chambers he can take you in, how he can connect with you he has endless tools in his toolbox to bring you to the truth. And I learned something too. I believe that, I believe that, um, Dude, let me see the bracelets. Hold the bracelets up. Huh? Yeah, hold your bracelets up. Oh, I'm not trying to flex. I'm not, I'm <laughs> not trying to flex. Hold it up. No. It's not let a see. flex. I'm just let living my see. life. Let, just, let us see. It's not a flex. Let us see. 
I'll let y'all see because y'all are my my Netarus. Uh, I'll let y'all see in the chat. I love y'all, but it's not a flex. It's not for YouTube. This is just me preparing for. I'm just on my journey. I'm just what I see and what I do. I love how it. I live, how I live my life is like I'm ready. I'm I'm war ready. Like this is not a game. But this is what I was gonna say. This is the evidence. The evidence of if you have spiritual power and if you're living in truth you are healing people and Saba said that if you're not healing people are you if you're not uh teaching people to connect with their deceased like what he's able to do is proof it's truth it's evidence he's lived the life he's dedicated he he lives ma'at and so yeah you can know about Egypt but are you living the culture is it your lifestyle? Would you live for it? Do you die for it? Do you, what he struggled, how he struggled to get to where he's at is the evidence. Like he is healing people. He's, he's building, he is teaching constantly. And so, uh, the truth is the truth. And so, uh, Hindu to you brothers, uh, Hindu to Saba. And I love it that his reciprocity uh, is going to come with interest, with, uh, with, with our assistance and everybody that comes to the pod class. Like it's just, he's just, he's just growing and growing and ascending and ascending. And so he is going to get what the netters, the netterus, the netterets, the ancestors have for him. It's happening now. He's getting his reciprocity because now he has, he's gathering. I don't know what's happening. I can't speak. Saba could speak to this better. But what I am seeing with all of who I am is uh, all this hard work and dedication is starting to pay off. Yeah, to our great brother for um, for those words. Absolutely. I agree with you 1,000%. Um, yeah, and I love those bracelets. Yeah, it, it was hiding for a second. Yeah, I like to see them. In the... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to flex and show. Ooh, look at me! It's not about that. Yeah, you're like, like you know, these... I'm just you know when I do this. And... <laughs> <laughs> no, once I started, once I started talking, I talk with my hands. So I wasn't really yeah, trying to yeah. show. But uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you bring it. You bring in the uh, the regalia. I guess this is the day. I guess this is the day. It all comes out. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Yeah, to I agree with you, great brother. Um, you know what we're what we're doing and what we're building and what we're a part of because of uh, Saba Tahuti uh, is is beautiful. So, uh, as we always say every week, um, you know, um, well, as you say, Minku, uh, I love when you say this. You say get in formation, and um, that's absolutely true. Um, because that's what that's what my art is. It's organization. Uh, it's it's the uh, control of isfet, right? When there's isfet, you place my art. So now you have a foundation, and um, and what we're doing uh, is is um, is something that's very important. So all the people who support us, uh, you you guys play such a valuable role in um, in the overall picture of what we're doing. Uh, and that's why you get your adoration the way that you do. And that's why we're so thankful for those who uh, who see the vision and um, and want to help us um, attain the goals that we have for our people. Um, so Hotep and Hindu uh, for um, for everyone, Hotep Ma'at to everyone for um, for continuously supporting. Uh, let, me, let me check something real quick. I think we got two two supports in um since the reading so uh before we close out i will um show those uh let's see hotep uh peace and love uh tanya 23 experience um two off for being here uh in the class uh she says same here for me i'm using my hands but have been listening definitely my truth i call myself sir Ket. i'm in Ra. I'm currently in the stage of Aset Amin Ra. I love this channel. I have my own Reiki style. Beautiful. Tua for, um, for being here. Um, so absolutely. 
Um, so Hotep, everyone, let me show the um, let me show the support that we received in. Uh, we got two donations in. Uh, and Stephen E, if you're in the chat, good brother, uh, let me know if you received uh, your your uh, shirt, your merch uh, that you um, and what you thought of it, good brother. I put something in there special for you. Uh, so let me know if you uh, if you received that. Bota Reyes says, I missed it. Need to do a replay. We'll send my donations this week once I get my funds. Hotel to you, great brother, and two off for that. Two off for your support. You always support too. We appreciate you, good brother. Yes, absolutely. All right, let me share screen. Uh, the good brother Eric G, the um, active member of Teachings of Ma'at, Eric G, um, who who assists in ways outside of just the internet. Um, so two out to this good brother. Uh, let's give him some hand claps. to our good brother eric g uh for your support uh you're a great supporter uh looking forward to um uh building with you um good brother so hotep and uh two out to you all right all right next we have Gad leisure center sent you twenty dollars uh brothers hotep to our brothers Peace and love, great brother B. Gad Leisure, also known as Maharu in the uh, chat. His brother is always consistently supporting, a very magical brother. Uh, so two out to you uh, for going through the journey that you're going through and becoming who you are and uh, for being in the Medu classes. Uh, we know you're not in there live, but I know you get the recording. So uh, two out for that and, and, um, and doing what you need to do, good brother. So Hotep and peace and love to you for your support. Yeah, the money. All right. Real magic. <laughs> it's pure magic. <laughs> Absolutely. So, um, yes, uh, that's the support that we received in for everyone who um, who appreciates this information. The links are uh, posted in the chat, and they're also posted in the uh, description box below uh, for those who are watching this on the playback. Uh, if you at any point in time you was like, hmm, I didn't know that, um, send in some um, support. Uh, because that's what allows us to keep bringing this and keep growing and having events to bring you all together in one space to meet the great Saba Tahuti, uh, to everything that we're doing. And, um, you know, this is uh, we're very transparent with everything that we do. And, you know, it's, it's all for you all at the end of the day. So uh, we don't <laughs> no one that you see on this panel uh, takes has any. Uh, uh, access to any of the support that comes in for any personal uh, reasons. Everything that's sent in is uh, directly for the organization and is utilized for the organization. Uh, so uh, two out to you all uh, for uh, for support. Okay, Stephen E says, yes, I received a good brother to uh, absolutely Nini Uk. Um, Stephen E asked for um, for a specific type of, uh, uh, he, he wanted to get a custom made shirt and uh, he asked for a door. Uh, he wanted a door. So, you know, instead of just, you know, picking any random door, I actually uh, found a door uh, from Kemet with Metanetter on it and was able to trace it and put it on a shirt for him. So he has an actual ancestral artifact representative of what he wanted to um, have created to wear. Uh, so, and that's what these teachings do. It, it te everything has to be intentional. Everything you have to be able to explain. Everything, everything has to have a purpose and a reason. 
uh, and you know since coming into the meta netter and and, um, and studying Ma'at and Kemet um, you know that's something that has definitely elevated me in that aspect to where uh, everything has to uh, be able to be uh, explained uh, so Hotep to that great brother for for that I hope you uh, hope you appreciate and, and like um, like that I did that for you um, dope gotta see that uh, absolutely um, I don't, uh, yeah you're coming to the um, pathways to awakening so um, I'm sure the great brother uh, will will um, be rocking that all right so let's see Maharu says Nini Uk brothers two off for ancestral presentation absolutely all right uh, so since no one's hitting the link and um, I don't see any more support, um, if you if you brothers have anything else that you would like to speak on, uh, feel free. If not, we'll we'll go ahead and close out. <clears throat> ben, could you got some closing words, great brother? Yes. Um, uh, hotel, peace and love to everyone uh, in the chat. Hello to the brothers on the panel. Uh, really quick, uh, for anyone who was not able to attend uh, the Pathways to Awakening, uh, we can still use your support. Uh, so please uh, take us in consideration to all the various aspects to creating this event uh, for our community and for Saba. Uh, we definitely could use your support in making this event a greater success. So uh to, to all of you for being in this energy this community building this family with us and uh look forward to seeing uh you all who are going to be in the meta netter monday class uh seeing you in there and of course seeing you next friday in the bot class so peace and love all right um yes hotep everyone uh peace and love to our for uh all the support for those of you who um, who support and uh, for this for this class here uh, was Bget Leisure Maharu and Eric G, um, Angela Gates, uh, Nicholas Svinston, uh, Nito Campbell, also known as Guano Trendon, and Stephen E. So two out to you all uh, for uh, giving in your reciprocity and uh, paying your two out issue for. Uh, the class today and uh, two off for those who will be sending in support uh, throughout the week uh, once your funds um, uh, get where they need to be uh, so two off to all the great brothers and sisters uh, i love each and every one of you uh, looking forward to seeing you all at the pathways to awakening it's going to be fun we're gonna we're gonna have a great time uh, it's, it's gonna be like nothing ever it's going to be a, a reptile show, talent show, offering show, live performance. Uh, it's going to be everything all in one. So it's going to be beautiful. Um, uh, Tua, everyone, for your attention. Uh, without your attention, this can never exist. Sakim M. Ari, Murder Ka'a, Semu Hatu Natiru, Per In Hetep. I obtain the power to do what pleases my Ka. May the hearts of the Natiru lead me. I come forth in peace. Hotep. Hotep, peace and love. Uh, and new to all the supporters. And new to everybody in the chat and everywhere you support. Uh, and new to the great Saba Tahuti Amen Hotep Ra. And new to the great Ahati Ma'at. Um, with that, we will end this beautiful class um, as we always do with our beautiful affirmation. From today's teachings from the pyramid text. All mankind shall acclaim you for the stars which know not destruction have exalted you. Get yourself up to the place where your father abides, to the place where Geb abides, and he will give you the Uraeus which is on the brow of Heru. Through it you will become an Ankh, through it you will become mighty. Through it, you will become pre preeminent among the Westerners. Anki Emma'at, Un-N-S, 
Nin Tet or Set in my art. Men have a pet in my art. Her and Hugh Kui per Iku. I live for my art. I exist within her. I do not speak in the place of my art. Every day I advance towards my art. My being is surrounded in darkness. I come forth as conscious light. Then I woke up back in my bed I could see my room as clear as looking through a lens See, I thought I was awake, so then I tried to move But my body shocked me like I was plugging a socket I started panicking and scrambling within my mental I thought I died and now my body, I'm forever locked in I was screaming, help me, help me, someone help me, please But there wasn't any sound making it through my teeth I could see movement and motion shadows gather around me How could I close my eyes? My eyes already closed Eating alkaline at this time, fast and so shocking I was stuck in a paralysis, free had me froze It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth Time to shed. I finally started waking up and coming back. I was in the opposite of sex effect. That's relaxed. I grabbed my phone and started to do research. Knowledge of what happened, I was in a lack. Insidious, the movie came direct to mind. Every time I seen this, it was connected to what's not divine. Demons crawling forcefully, holding the body down. Ain't no point in trying to scream, you will not make a sound. Deep within, I knew I made that a reality. The all is mine, I saw it, and so shall it be I start replacing fear with knowing universe is mental Talking to my subconscious to wake me up in dreams Then one day my spirit guys came in so essential Daylight astral playing loud in my dream helps to set me free I'm back in paralysis laying on my couch But this time I was calm ready to exit out It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed From what I read, I need to move my arms in front of me See a rope and pull it, separate and then release Now I'm out, I see my house is gleaming, I accept it Looking in the mirror, staring at my cos reflection I was so ecstatic, flying in every direction This was months of subconscious reprogramming and redirection Place my thoughts in my body, wake up, that's what I did I was reborn from that day so I could start to live It's time to shed It's time to shed I heard a voice in the back of my head Rebirth, it's time to shed But I can only show you the door. You're the one that has to walk through it, through it, through it. Through it.